Greetings YouTube. Today, Charles Edgar Hampton going to remove and replace a radiator from a Hyundai Sonata. So, it's my aunt's 2000 Hyundai Sonata. Uh, she has a V6. And I'm going to be removing the radiator. First thing you want to go on and do, disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. And, uh, second thing we'll do is jack it up, disconnect the uh, hoses from down. The battery has been disconnected for quite some time. Uh, I disconnected it first before I jacked it up. Whenever I'm up under a car, I have it on stands, but then on one side, I'll keep the jack and the stand over there just as extra security. Whatever's going to keep this sucker from coming down on my head is golden to me. Down here, we're going to flush this. It's going to be right there. So, we have this engine mount here, which is right by that driver front tire. And so, what we'll need to do is take out this little guard. One, two, three. So again, one, two, three. That'll allow me to get my hand back there and take that clamp off, which you can see right through there. All right, so as you can see, that little cover there removed, you got nice, free, clear access to the main holes. All you need to do is just grab there, pinch those two together, pull back, and you'll be good to go. One thing that always helps is if you twist before you try to pull off, then it helps it. Alright, disconnect a lot easier. You've got your towing tie. Alright, you got this red plug. This is on the driver's side of the vehicle. And anyway, next to that main hose, then you've got this hose right here. It needs to be disconnected. Before you get started, you'll need to remove the oil cap and these four bolts with the red arrow so that you'll have more space to work as you remove the radiator. And you can also inspect the hoses and clamps and make sure that everything is in good working order. Another thing you may also want to do, um, I've already disconnected <laughs> that bottom hose that can explain the condition of my hand. Uh, anyway, is also remove this, alright, hose right here. The other thing, I took the radiator cap just to off. Just to help with the, uh, not create any air holes or, or the air pockets. So anyway, the next thing would be just to work that little hose off. Again, just trying to make sure whatever's in there is going to be out. The next thing that we're going to do, um, once we know everything has been drained, we're going to start disconnecting the fans, which won't take much. And get those out of the way, we can get a better idea of what we're looking at. You've got one plug here. Easy way to do it. The side opposite where the plug is, push that in and then just create a gap carefully with something. And then once you know that clip is up, exploit that little gap. Alright, 
that's out of the way. Got one, two, three bolts that need to be removed. And the fans can come back and up. All of these are the same 10 millimeter. Bolt number one. Bolt number two. Now I'm going to show you something. If you zoom in right there. There is a very small... It's a square nut of sorts. That needs to come along with everything. That right there. That's what's locking that in. When you're taking this old radiator off, then you need to keep up with these. So you're going to want to pull those out and put those back on. Otherwise you'll lose them. Notice how I put one hand behind it. And carefully trying to pull it up. You don't want to flick it up and shoot it out into space. That would be bad. This should now if you can't get these out, don't worry. Cause um you'll have the opportunity to turn this old one upside down. And uh, pop them out that way. Always when you're pulling the old one, the fans out, double check and make sure you don't know if there's exactly is connected to this holes. Or you could take the holes off. Take both of these off. Get them out of the way. Why not? Now, after you remove that top hose that went from here to the top of the radiator, then remove also the bottom one as well. So, take your time and <laughs> work it slowly. remove the second fan even once you did remove that hose you still have a little bit of difficulty as far as um getting around so what i'm gonna do is take off the top two that hold the radiator down the top two clamps um these are not 10 millimeter at this point over these comes right up Put it right back down, you don't want to lose it. Same thing on the other side, passenger side. Now don't move it around too much. You still have uh, plenty of other hoses connected. You really don't want any trouble. Alright, um, you can see that twist tie. This main hose right here, we go on up, is right up against all right, the body of that fan. We just need to cut that. So that's what's about to happen now. So I can take this second fan out. Anyway, another thing that needs to be moved so you can get this hose out of the way is, alright, here's another clamp. It's kind of hidden. I know you probably can't see it, but it's pinching and pulling. about the jackhammer apparently in the background. Anyway, two screws here and on the other side need to be taken off. I still have yet to take that other fan off. There's another bolt down here.
reconnect it. Alright. This hose on the top and the bottom. And what I'm just going to do is start the whole flushing process. Pouring the water in here. Also, um, pouring in through this coolant drain, which hasn't gone anywhere. This is really interesting. So I'll drain this out too while I'm at it. So let's go and see what's at the bottom of here. make sure all the inlets hose connections are facing towards the engine block we drop it in slowly but surely the side sets down just fine over here so lock it just a little bit go down there and double check needs to be put back. The one that attaches this one to the air conditioner. Once you got that seated, place that bolt down there. These two that you took from up here you need to go back down. Take your time and uh, make sure everything is centered in there properly. In other words, there's a, a clamp that goes over the metal that has a hole in it. And the clamp has a hole in it, and then this, of course, has a hole. They all need to align up, otherwise you'll be, uh, won't be getting it. This is all secured together, and all this still flaps around because you haven't put this back on. So, two pegs, two holes, in, through, over like that and uh, start it with your hand first same thing on the other side and this will literally hold it down You can view any well, video after putting everything on back. how to flush your radio. Reconnect the fan, I did, on the water, top holes, water into the lower reconnecting holes these. On the water pump as it drained from the all right, upper these two holes, holes. all while the car is running. Uh, holes the holes are down there. The one that was popping is when the hose out of the water is running. Uh, we're good. The so anyway, Charles Edgar Hampton on behalf of Variety Tube Channel. God bless and peace.